It's been a little while since we looked at the Kingston Dock, and one of the areas showing most change has been the area behind the existing passenger terminal. Checking compaction in mid-May gave way in early June to pouring footings for walls. July saw further work on the area. By August, there were walls in place. And work was underway to connect electrical supplies to the dock. Back in May, Further into the site, the roof was taking shape quickly on the utility building and work on the southern finger dock was progressing steadily. On the Dolphin, preparations to pour concrete were well advanced and the same thing could be said of the northern finger dock and its massive slabs. There was work to do under the eaves of the utility building and carpenters were busy on the gable end of the building. The southern finger dock was steadily being filled. New piles were driven in to the east of the new passenger terminal likely to support the gangway in due course. Work on the interior of that new terminal was also very much in evidence. Some of the results can be seen here. Well into May, steel was still being added to the structure. June saw roof lining going onto the utility building. and concrete was poured on the Dolphin. By mid-June, the time had come to connect the slabs with concrete. The situation on the south finger dock was progressing too. Late in June, it was very encouraging to see a number of large wooden trusses appear. Roofing a section of the new passenger terminal was also quite an advance and glazing of the front section began. Curing of concrete around the slabs was going well. The North Finger Dock and the Dolphin were beginning to look rather good. At the end of the month a milestone was passed when the first trusses were placed on the passenger terminal. Progress was quite rapid. The roof is quite a complex structure. Carpenters were once again in the forefront of the action.
over the way despite some fairly strong winds. Work was progressing well on the roof of the utility building. The appearance of a grader on the southwest side was another indicator of progress. As we entered July, work was progressing very nicely. I was away for most of July, volunteering at the world's biggest aviation celebration. So imagine my delight to return and see this situation in early August. Good weather and a strong and dedicated workforce are making things move and as we watch the Wolf Islander 3 pull away I encourage you to follow this channel for future updates. Thanks for watching.